What's happening, everybody? Justin, Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube, Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter, and the day is finally here. Season three of my NFL pick show for the 2014-2015 NFL season. I am super pumped to be back here doing what I do. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. And, of course, to remind you and let you know that what I do was good enough last year for you, the viewers, to name me as 2013's most entertaining YouTube prognosticator on the third annual Geo Knows Awards. Thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. I can't believe I won that. I'm so pumped to have won it. Thanks to everybody else that was nominated, everybody who makes the football videos, and everybody who voted, because you guys are really the ones that matter. I love doing this. I love the people that I've met through doing this. It's fantastic. Let's get into the show. And speaking of the show, you're going to notice that there's a couple of format changes from last year. The main thing that we have held on to is the platinum, gold, silver, and bronze picks. That's the way that I do things. Those are my stalwarts. I'm going to hold on to those. They work really, really well for the Yahoo uh, Pick'em League, which we're going to talk about in just a little bit here. But we have held on to the platinum, gold, silver, and bronze. And, of course, you'll be getting all of my straight-up picks for the week. The top two that we did last year, top two against the spread and top two over under that is gone what I have replaced it with is the big three now the big three are ATS only picks the reason that I'm getting rid of the over under I only went 15 18 and 1 over under last year I did struggle the over under will be coming back for the playoff video videos rather uh, so over under will be featured on the playoff videos only I will not be doing it through the season again just because I struggled with it last year so we're gonna cut the chaff keep the positive and who knows, maybe next year over-under will be back. We'll see how I do over-under in the playoffs. But for this year, the over-under picks are going to be gone. We're going to be sticking with straight against the spread picks. You're going to get my big three, one, two, three against the spread picks in every video this year. And in addition to that, you will be able to check out my against the spread picks for every single game in the week in the description on YouTube to this video that's down below. So in the description, if you just click it and expand the description, you will see every single against the spread pick that I have for every game that week. So you can take a look at all of those. We can discuss those picks in the comments section and everything like that. So you get the big three on the video. You get the rest of them in the description below. And as I mentioned, of course, the Yahoo NFL Pick'em League is back again for season three. So if you want to go in the description to this video, there's all the information there. The group ID on Yahoo is 14515. The password is Bridgewater. We've already got eight 18 people in the league right now, which is plus two from the beginning of the year last year, so I'm hoping the league will continue to grow. We got 18 people in, myself included. Last year's champion, Chicago underscore Span on Twitter, is back to defend his title this year. Join up on Yahoo to Bridgewater's Finest Pick'em Season 3. Again, all the information is in the description below to the video. See if your straight up picks, with confidence points of course, because we love those confidence points, see if those can beat mine. So that's pretty much it, folks. Those are the only changes from the format from last season. You got your platinum, gold, silver, and bronze, of course. Every straight-up pick for the rest of the week, of course. The top two is gone. In its place is the big three against the spread only. No over-under this year. And every single game, my ATS pick will be in the description to the video. So without further ado, let's get into the new blood here. The big three against the spread picks for week one, 2014-2015 NFL season is back, baby. Here we go. So my number three pick for the big three against the spread this week comes in the Green Bay at Seattle game. The line here is Seattle minus five at home. So everybody knows how good Seattle is at home. They literally have that 12th man, that crowd, which does make a tangible difference in games. It's not measurable, but it's tangible. You can just feel how a game will shift based on the noise level of that crowd. It really is a significant advantage for Seattle at home. Is it a five-point advantage for Seattle at home against a team that's a perennial playoff and Super Bowl threat? Maybe I might be overestimating Green Bay a little bit, calling them a perennial Super Bowl threat, but this is an extremely talented team. One of the top, I would say, top three quarterbacks in the league in terms of fantasy and real-life production, Aaron Rodgers. He's got a lot of people to throw to. They did lose B.J. Raji on the defensive side of things, so the pass rush and run D is going to be a little suspect for a little while until they get that hole filled. I honestly think Green Bay is too good of a team to lose against Seattle by more than five points. I mean, there's a chance that Green Bay could win this game. 
I don't necessarily think Green Bay is going to win this game, but I do think they're going to keep it close enough that five points is too many. So number three on the big three ATS, I'm going to take Green Bay plus five at Seattle. Number two on the big three against the spread this week comes in the New Orleans at Atlanta game. Now Atlanta is a three-point dog at home in the first week of the season against Breeze and the Saints. And really, after the season that the Falcons had last year, I think three points is being generous. I think Atlanta is going to have a phenomenal offensive season this season as long as they can keep those two big monster wide receivers, Roddy White and Julio Jones, as long as they can keep those two healthy, I think Atlanta's going to have a great year. Matt Ryan is a borderline elite quarterback. But what is not borderline is the fact that the quarterback on the other side is Drew Brees and he is the very definition of a consistent and elite quarterback. With all the weapons that New Orleans has to throw to, that passing attack is going to prove to be deadly. And apparently, they're so confident on the offensive and defensive side of the ball that they can cut Robert Meacham, who is a really consistent wide receiver, and Champ Bailey. So there's got to be something good cooking on that defense. Even at 114 years old, if Champ Bailey's not good enough to make your defense, you got something going on. Even though the game's on the road, I think three points is a gift. So I'm going to take New Orleans minus three at Atlanta as the number two pick on the big three against the spread this week. And my top pick on the big three against the spread this week comes in the Carolina at Tampa Bay game. Tampa Bay is a point and a half favorite at home. But I really don't know why. I get the feeling that just prior to the season, everybody jumped on the Cam Newton's not going to do anything this year train. And I don't want to take anything necessarily away from Tampa Bay, but when I think about quality teams in the NFL, when I think about dangerous teams in the NFL, Tampa Bay's name doesn't come up. It's not like Carolina's expected to be a juggernaut, but I think that defense in Carolina, like it did last year, is going to win them a couple of games. The Bucks have a talented core of wide receivers, they have a lot of depth at running back, and they have a decent offensive line. But who in the world's going to be throwing the football? Having to decide between Josh McCown and Mike Glennon as being the only guy on the field, aside from the center, that touches the football on every play? I look on the other side and I see a Carolina Panthers team that plays a team-based game. A pounding, punishing running attack, including one that can come from their quarterback. A really good offensive line, and from all accounts, a punishing, elite-level defense. And yet we're being given a point and a half. Sounds good to me. My top play on the big three against the spread this week is to take Carolina plus a point and a half at Tampa Bay. I'll take this point in the show to remind you that uh, all of my against the spread picks, including the ones that I just put in the big three, are available in the description to this video. That's, of course, down below. And that, of course, there's no update for the Pick'em League right now because no football has been played. But if you've not yet joined the Yahoo Pick'em League, make sure that you go to the description of this video. All the information is in there. Make sure you join up with us. Again, we've got 18 so far, plus two from the beginning of last year. So we're hoping that the league can grow exponentially. We want you to join in on the fun. Put your heads up, straight up, pick them picks for this season. Ugh, that was a tongue twister. Put those picks head to head against mine. Now it's time to take a look at the platinum, gold, silver, and bronze picks for week one of 2014-2015. Here we go. My first bronze pick of the 2014-2015 NFL season comes in a game that we literally just talked about, Carolina at Tampa Bay. As I said, Tampa Bay is a team that does not scare me when I hear their name, and I look at Carolina and I know that that is a team that is playing a professional team game bolstered by what I believe will be, once again this season, a dominant defense. So for my bronze pick, I'm going to take Carolina on the road to beat Tampa Bay. My silver pick in week one, 2014-2015, comes in the New England at Miami game. The more things change, the more they stay the same in the AFC East. The Dolphins are a team that do look like they could do some damage. They have some playmakers there on offense. Their wide receiver core is really good. They added Sean Moreno to their backfield. And Ryan Tannehill, last year, had flashes where he looked like a really good quarterback. And then there's the Patriots. With Cameron Wake on the D-line, Philip Wheeler quarterbacking the linebacker crew, and Cortland Finnegan and the secondary, the Dolphins don't exactly have a terrible defense. And then there's the Patriots. Miami's going to win some games this year, and they are definitely going to be a contender for one of those wildcard spots. And then, there's the Patriots. 
Folks, I'm not going to try to convince you that the Patriots are going to be world beaters this year, because they still don't have anybody at least even remotely recognizable in their wide receiver core, aside from, you know, the guys that really weren't recognizable last year and yet still put up numbers. And there's a reason for that. When I talk about Carolina playing a real team game, the Patriots wrote the book on playing a team game. Literally, there's a book. The Patriot Way, and that is exactly what this team does. They gel, they come together, and they own this division. So for the silver pick, I'm going to take the Patriots on the road to beat Miami in week one. That's the silver pick. My gold pick, first gold pick of 2014-2015, comes in the Buffalo at Chicago game. Clearly, I have an unhealthy amount of faith in Jay Cutler and a CFL head coach. I just get the feeling when I look at the Bears and I look at Cutler running that offense with the wide receivers that he has, the running back that he has, and Mark Tressman behind the wheel, I just, I look at this Bears team and I get the feeling something special is going to happen this year. Although for all you fantasy buffs out there, if you drafted Alshon Jeffrey in the second to third round, he's going to be a bust. But here's the thing, while Alshon Jeffrey is going to suffer this year, that's just going to mean all the more work for Brandon Marshall. I'm looking forward this year to seeing how the Bills continue to develop under E.J. Manuel with a guy like C.J. Spiller on the roster who is a very good running back. And this is a young team, a developing team. I'm interested to see what happens with the Bills this year. I just feel bad that the Bears are going to absolutely destroy them in week one. Bit of a spoilers for my ATS list below. Bears minus six and a half, they're going to cover. The Bears might have a defense older than Methuselah, but they are definitely going to make some noise, especially in week one. I get the feeling that this week one game is going to be a slaughter, so I'm going to take the Bears at home to beat the Bills, and that's the gold pick. And here's the platinum pick, folks, my top straight-up pick for week one, 2014-2015, the Jacksonville Jaguars on the road in Philadelphia. <clears throat> what do you want me to do? Philly's minus 10 here on the line. They're favored by 10 points. They're going to cover 10 points. The over-under number here is 53. Philly might cover 53 on their own. I will say it'll be kind of interesting to see what happens with Jacksonville's quarterback controversy this year. I do think that their rookie, and his name escapes me right now, I do honestly think they have a better chance of winning with him behind the wheel. That being said, Nick Foles and LaShawn McCoy are going to destroy this team. For anybody who drafted Shady McCoy number one overall in fantasy or whoever ended up getting him in the first round, congratulations, week one is going to be a very fun week for you. I'm sure the rest of my platinum picks this year won't be quite so easy, and I promise, again, at the beginning of the season, not to pick on Jacksonville, but Philadelphia is going to absolutely curb stomp the Jaguars in week one. Philly all day, cover the spread. They over 53 points on the over-under. They might cover it themselves. Philadelphia to beat Jacksonville, that is the platinum pick. Ooh, feels good to get back to this. Okay, folks, time to check out the rest of my straight-up picks for Week 1, NFL 2014-2015. It feels so good to be back. Here's the rest of the picks. show this week for you folks. Comments, hate, and love, you know where they go. Comments section below. Once again, check out all of my Against the Spread picks, including what I put in the big three, in the description below. You want to join the Yahoo Pick'em League? That's in the description below, too. That description is your one-stop shop for this show. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my video, the week one video of the most entertaining prognosticator from last year. Thanks, Gio. And uh, thank you again very much for watching the video. Thank you for watching all of our videos. Like, you got a lot of choice out there. There's a lot of folks that do this. How many folks do this? Check out the description of my video. I got a long laundry list of folks who do these weekly NFL picks videos. And you know what? Check them all out because they're all great. 
They are honestly all fantastic. I'm so happy that I got to meet some of these people and become friends with them. That's the show for you folks. For week one, Justin, Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube, Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter. We'll see ya for week two. Yeah!